So over the last 20 years, many of the U.S. troops in Afghanistan from right here in southern New England, one of them, Massachusetts Congressman Jake Auchincloss. Yeah, he spent some time leading patrols through Taliban-controlled villages, and he spoke with us late last night as news of the takeover in Afghanistan by the Taliban was unfolding. Reporter Erica Ritchie is continuing our in-depth coverage from our control room. And guys, good morning to you. Representative Jake Auchincloss was a platoon commander in Afghanistan in 2012 at the end of the Obama era surge. So he spent a lot of time up close and personal with both the Taliban and the Afghan troops, the U.S. troops, where they're working to train. So here's his analysis of what we've been watching unfold over the weekend. What we have seen in the last 48 hours is a sudden takeover by the Taliban of Afghanistan, but the counterinsurgency effort has been going bankrupt gradually for 20 years now. So when Representative Auchincloss spoke with us late last night, he said that the counterterrorism aspect of the U.S.'s presence in Afghanistan was successful. He cited the death of Osama bin Laden and the prevention of terror attacks on our soil. But he called the counterinsurgency mission a quote-unquote unmitigated disaster, claiming that there is a lack of political partnership in Kabul. For that reason, he says he supports the president's decision to pull out U.S. troops from the region ahead of that August 31st deadline. Nobody wants to see the Taliban in charge of Kabul. That's a worst case scenario. But this president inherited only bad options from his predecessors. And he made the decision to me that situates the United States in the best position possible going forward. And Representative Auchincloss went on to say that by pulling the troops out of Afghanistan, it now frees them up to focus on other initiatives, things that he calls transnational threats like climate change and public health. Live in the control room this morning, I'm Erica Ritchie, 12 News.